we have a free will like to choose what's good what's bad what's yeah, right yeah, yeah. what's wrong yeah. that's why you see a human being have a free will yeah. so this so the god almighty we say god almighty the creator yeah. the one who created the big bang the universe did you know that the universe is expanding all the time yeah yeah it's expanding yeah, yeah. what caused the expi expand who 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 made it it's mind-boggling it's mind-boggling yeah exactly yeah. so we say that is god almighty yeah. It's one of his signs that the, the earth is expanding. So just like your phone, I mentioned the phone has a manufacturer. Someone, someone designed the phone, created the phone. We believe as a human being, someone made us, created us in a perfect shape. As a human being, we have a nice body, we have a heart, that we have a liver, we have a kidney. So you don't think like we just came from nothing. It doesn't make sense. So what makes sense is some intelligent being that created us, the entity, yeah, which yeah. says that is Allah. Allah is the name of the creator, yeah, yeah. Allah. So for example, he created us, he wouldn't believe, he wouldn't leave us without instruction. Yeah, yeah. So he sent us a prophets and messengers. We believe the first human being is Adam. I don't know if you know anything about Adam. Oh yeah, yeah, Adam about, and you Adam. Yeah, Adam and Eve, yeah. so God has created them. So we say we are children of Adam. Yeah, yeah. We're children of Adam. And he sent us a prophet and messengers. We believe Prophet Adam, Messenger Prophet Noah. Do you know anything about them? Oh, so yeah, they were yeah. sent to. Oh, so is it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I blocked it. I, I sort of like not blocked it out. But yeah. You know I mean? So you remember still now? Yeah, start to come into your mind. Yes. Yeah. Some of this similar to the Bible. Ah, that is a good question. So actually, this is what happened. I will come into that. We believe God has sent prophets and messengers to call people to worship one God, because a human being they need their instruction, a guidance, someone to remind them to call them that that God is one. So when God sent them a prophet and messengers, He gave them a scripture, a scriptures. For example, He gave them Torah. He was sent Prophet Moses and he gave them Torah, the, the, the instruction like the, the book. And, he, and then later on, you know, the message got corrupted and he sent them Prophet Jesus. And, he's, and then the message same, it got corrupted, the Bible, the Bible got corrupted. Oh, right. Yeah, so the yeah. message got corrupted, and then so God this is again. Like the more older version. You, the, yeah, this one is the final version of. This is the final message of God. The Quran is right. the final. Right. So we believe all the pro, all the scriptures in previous got corrupted. The oh, Quran right. is the final uh, message to whole mankind. All oh, right. Okay, to yeah. call people to worship one God. Yeah, yeah. Alone without partners. Yeah. So there is a chapter in the Quran I can share with you if you don't mind in Arabic and English. God says, In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Say God is one and only. Do you agree? God is one and only. Allah yeah. Samad, the self sufficient, this the creator is self sufficient. The eternal, he does not have the beginning. He is the first and the last. He has no beginning or end. Self-sufficient. We are in need of God, the Creator. God does not need us. He begets not nor was he begotten. So that means God did not give birth to anyone or does not have parent. Do you agree? There is nothing comparable to God. You cannot comprehend God. We cannot compare God into anything. We cannot say God is a human being walking on earth or God is a monkey like a Hindu. They believe God is a monkey came into a form. We neglect all that. We reject it. And uh, we reject Jesus to be God because Christianity, they start to elevate Jesus as God. Yeah. So we saying God is not a man, even if you read in the Bible, Book yeah. of Numbers, God is not a man. So we neglect that. So we follow the true teaching of all previous prophets. We believe they were sent to call people to worship one God alone without partners. If you agree to everything I've said, that, that means you're closer to Islam. So you believe that God is one, right? Yeah. You believe this God has created, has sent us a prophet and messengers.
I mean, it's been told through every nation. Every Wasland, so yeah, yeah. It must be. It must Obviously, be. what he said is yes. It's questionable because no one knows. Yeah, exactly. So you only have yes these words that you just have to. Yes, you have to read it because this yeah. is instruction. Remember, yeah, yeah. because we can't, we did not had any any technology at that time to keep yeah, yeah. everything. So that's what God has sent us a scripture, the Quran. Yeah. Quran is preserved. You know, the only book on earth that is preserved is the Quran. And the Quran is challenging to everyone to bring chapter like the Quran. Nobody has ever brought something like the Quran. Right. The short chapter in the Quran is three sentences. And the, the Quran is challenging to whole mankind to bring something like the Quran. The Quran has chapter of 114 chapters. And, and God Almighty is saying, if this Quran was any other from God, they would have found many contradictions. And yeah. the Quran, there is no contradiction. It's been known by anyone. Yeah. There is no contradiction. It's the only preserved I've book always, always, on earth. I've always thought I might have to read it. Yeah, you have to read it. I've always it. thought it would be in... Yes, exactly. Maybe we believe everything is destiny. God has sent us. God looks at our heart, a human heart. If, he want, if, the, if the heart and soul wants to be guided, God will sh show them a way. So maybe God has brought here and wants to show you the way. Because we have men, so many brothers who have accepted Islam. Islam means someone who submit their will to God. Do you agree? Like to, to submit your will. For example, everyone is serving into something. So we must be servant to the Creator, the Most High. So everything I've said to you, Surah al Ikhlas, you agree that God is one, right? Yeah. That He's self, the eternal. He begets not, nor was He begotten, and there's nothing comparable to Him. If you agree, everything that I've said to you, you're closer to Islam. And in Islam, to enter into Islam, there's sentences that you must say and utter. Once you say, you feel different. All your previous sins will be forgiven. Are you ready to say? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to read it. You have to read the Quran. Yeah. Yeah, there is no compulsion in religion. Yeah. You have to read it, take your time to study. Yeah. Once you study in the Quran, you will see there's so many, you know, the Quran is unchanged. Yeah. We have the original uh, manuscript. Yeah. And uh, it's been come, you know, Quran, it was sent to the last messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You know, Prophet, you might question to me and say, how do you know these prophets to be true? Yeah. All those prophets, you might ask me that. So I will, I, will just, I will describe you who this. For example, Prophet Moses was sent with miracles because people reject his beliefs, his message. What happened? He has to show people he, he performed miracles and he split the sea by God's permission. Yeah. Prophet Jesus, Prophet Isa, we say, alayhi salam, he was sent to call people to worship one God and he was blessed with miracles. And we believe Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger. He was given miracles just like the previous prophets were given miracles but we cannot see the previous mess, prof, previous prophets uh, miracles but we can see prophet muhammad's miracle do you know what prophet muhammad's miracle is it's the quran itself this book has miracles because why because this book is the only book that is challenging to whole mind is he says he came from god almighty that was sent he has no contradiction no mistakes and nobody has ever brought something like the quran the language itself the literature, everything is so perfect. It's got science rights, everything. And Prophet Muhammad, yeah, also the last thing I will say to you, for example, Prophet Muhammad said, there will be a time a Bedouin Arab will compete each other building tall buildings. Do you know where in tall buildings is at, at the moment? It's in Dubai, Burj Al Khalifa. That is the tall building. Pro when the Prophet Muhammad said that time, they did not know how to build the tall buildings. So when he says he was talking, he prophesied about the future. And 21st century, we can see his, mess, his prophecy came to pass. How perfect is that? Yeah. They're not 100% accurate. Or yeah. well, they are, but there's no definitive pinpoint in it. So you might have to wait, or sometimes you might have to look past what he's Yeah, doing past there. exactly. Because no, because sometimes what they do is, he did perform miracles at the time. For example, people came to Prophet Muhammad, he showed, he told, people came and asked him like to perform miracles, and he did perform miracles. He split the moon, and people can see at the time. That, 
his time. But he's talking about the future generation, like our time. Yeah. So to see something, yeah. to see. So now we saw that pro his prophecy came to pass. Yeah. There's so many prophecy in the Quran. It's got scientific right, everything. Yeah. I will advise to you, if you're a sincere person, go home, pray to God. You know how Jesus, Prophet Muhammad, all prophets pray. They prostrated and put their forehead on the floor. Oh, right. yeah. That is the best way yeah. to, to pray. To, to God Almighty, yeah. it brings you closer to God. Yeah. So, what's your name? Oh, David. 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 Nice to meet you, David. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you.